Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the uh, mini reading love, war la love forecast for the Sagittarius for um, April 18th to April the 24th. And this is just going to be a really quick three card reading for next week. And it's going to show past, present, and future. Oh, you had a card fall out. Um, the Seven of Swords. So this is someone who is being dishonest um but we're just gonna look at that and we're gonna look at the other cards before i judge okay so watch out for liars because liars will lie so next week the theme for the sagittarius is gonna be don't let the liars lie to you because that seven of swords came up that is someone that um, is behaving unethically and, you know, trying to do harm to you on purpose or harm to your mind. The swords is about your perception. So this person is definitely going to mess with your perception. Now, why that's going to involve your love life, I don't know. Um, it could be someone who is competing against you for your man. That could be. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut, and then are you excited, Sagittarius? Okay, oh, wonderful. Okay, so presently, you got the Queen of Swords, and I see this as either being um, a literal person in your life or it could represent the energy surrounding you. So this is a very quick witted, uh, queen of swords. Um, you know, even though she's kind of scary, people do not want to, to mess with her. Okay. So this could either be you or a little literal person in your life. Um, I do kind of see that person is not being you. I think this is an enemy of yours who is trying to cut you down. Um, because the queen of swords will cut you down. Okay. Um, and the Seven of Swords, um, again, I want you to understand the way that the tarot works. The sword suit is all about your perception. This is somebody trying to make you think certain things. So this is someone trying to give you negative information. And the Seven of Swords, it is someone who is just trying to start stuff. They're very dishonest. And, I mean, the drawing in the Deviant Moon is literally a sword getting ready to fall down this person's throat because, you know, they're just you know so ornery so um but yeah that's what i'm seeing now in the past you got the five of wands so this card literally means love competition and there was a struggle but it also shows you is coming up coming off on top so you overcame some competition you know um and just competition and period you know period in life you know i mean even in your love life everybody's going to experience competition competition at work um so this person was competing with you but you were on top because um you know in the illustration it shows um it shows four people fighting and there's five so there's five wands but one of them is growing into a flower so you, this is another alchemy card um, when I look at the five of wands because what you did was you took that negative energy and you used it. So you basically let your enemies and your haters motivate you and you were able to plant stronger seeds. Um, so this is a really good card. And for the future, you got the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands, I always see a baby born, okay, or a pregnancy. So for some of you Sagittarius, you might be finding out your girlfriend is pregnant next week. Um, you might be finding out you're pregnant next week. This is the energy of a, a baby boy. But it's also the energy of a new project. I get the sense that um, for those of you that are not connected with, in, with anybody next week, you're going to meet somebody and it'll be a new beginning. This is a, this is one of the best, um, 
love cards of the zodiac because this is the energy um that drives a man to want to put a baby inside of a woman <laughs> so this is the spirit of creation okay which is a very old spirit we all know but this is i mean it just shows i mean maybe even a marriage proposal Because again, this is the wands, which is about the man, the masculine energy, and it's also fire energy also. But I get the sense that either way, if you're male or female watching this, that um, the new beginning at hand is, you know, not only going to be prosperous for you, it's going to also bring about a successful outcome. Um, I, and, and what it means is that you know, to succeed, you must think clearly. Oh, you know what I was going to say about the wand suit? The wands is all about the male identity. Okay, so, you know, and, and so that in itself is a struggle to deal with in our society. So for you to get that, it's a new start on that, especially if you're a man. Um, and especially if you're a woman that's dating a Sagittarius. And then, so, it and it's always birth, like, there's some sort of birth, birth of a project, birth of, you know, a, of, of a marriage or, or literally a baby. Okay, so that's a very inspiring reading for you. Um, that's going to do it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you thumbs up this video. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.